Hi guys, Paul from PA Brew News, joined by Matt from Massive Beers. So if you're not watching him, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Get over there. What is wrong with you? Massive Beer Reviews. We got a bunch of ales here, some Christmas style ales, some awesome kind of style ales. I mean, that's the category of awesomeness. Yeah, I, it's my favorite category of beer yeah. actually. Which one are we going to do today? The I one, think we should one. go Thomas Hardy because it's the best beer in the universe. There you go. <laughs> Sounds good. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, you ever had this before? No, no. Start this thing off. I have had has I actually know some friends that have had it, and they're just amazing. And yeah. And then there's ale. There's an ale de Hardy clone by a Quebec company or something like that, or Montreal company, but it doesn't do it justice. I've actually never heard of it. Um, the closest thing I've ever had to it is an aged North Coast Old Stock. The aged North Coast Old Stock. They don't taste the same right out the bat, right out the shoot. Mm -hmm. um, but um, if you um, Aged them once you get a couple years in, then uh, brings it out. Yeah, yeah okay. I mean, this is just the goodness. It's nice and murky. Yeah, and I was gonna say murky goodness. <laughs> this is, yeah, I love it. It's one of my favorite beers. I mean, it's like literally, like, I can smell it. We're outdoors, obviously. Wow. Super yeah. alcohol legs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's, you swirl around and it's like almost paste on the on the side of the glass. It just wants to sit there. Like that, you work. It's a 2008, <laughs> so it's the newest um, okay. of them. So it's not super, super old, but it's still, but I it's, mean, you're still talking, you know, six years old. Yeah, so. it's still aged quite a lot. Yeah. yeah. You know, this already is starting to remind me now. I'm not saying this is as equal or whatever, but uh, it's running of aged uh, vintage ale from Fours. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's like. Um, if you've watched any of my reviews, um, I mean, I've I've done this before with uh, I did a side by side uh, review of older ones of this with uh, Joe from um, NDP Beer Reviews, and you know I just gush over it. There's really not much I could say as far as like if I like it or not. It's just my favorite. Yeah. So I'm kind of biased. Yeah. So oh. I'm kind of curious as to. I as like the smooth, smooth caramel, molasses, brown sugars kind of going. Yeah, on it's in there. it's total like total sugar bomb. Yeah, you can get a little beer. bit like. Um, one thing I don't get really out of here so much, but you get out of the Fuller's Ale, it's a little bit of like an orange marmalade kind of coming out. I don't get that so much. It's just so sweet. It's an, I want to say there's a little bit of butterscotch coming through there too. There's so sweet and sticky, and that's what I love about these styles. Sticky would be the best yeah. <laughs> Ad noun or adjective yeah. or whatever you want to want to use for it. It just it's so sticky. It's when it's you a smell little it, woody it's, too. There's a little bit of woody, earthy kind of note in there too. It's probably the most complex beer I've ever had. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's kind of dissect it. Enjoy it. Why are you doing? And it's smooth too. Yeah. That's really Age good. does this really, really well. Like, even this is good, but I mean, when this gets another like five years older, I it's just, just got gonna hit be with the butterscotch. Oh, wow, butterscotch. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, ton. It almost tastes like um, like a, a little bit not smoky, but woody. Mm -hmm. like, it, like you can taste like not oak. I mean, it's not barely. I can taste a leafy kind of not leafy, but yeah. no, I can't. I can't even say what I'm trying to say. There is a little bit of a woody tone, and there's the there's the they get the special guest for our beer review. Yes. Turn around and say hi to the camera. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Daddy. Yeah, so good. I know some people that are into the thing, they don't like um, references to like popular items, like where there's originals. But I get it. Yeah, no, I do that stuff all the time. I get I'm it. like, it's smooth, it's creamy, there's silkiness to it, there's a, that butterscotch, caramel, toffee, there's nougaty. It is absolute candy. Mm -hmm. um, it is. A it's candy. definitely. It's and like I said. It's just a couple of years would just make it infinitely better because it is just got the tiniest bit of booziness to it. You can just feel a little bit of heat there. Not much, but just a tiny bit. There's a little bit, and that would go. But away. it's really nice. There's a floral booze that actually just kind of like built big, like accents everything. It doesn't ruin it at all. Oh no, not in any way whatsoever. I think you'd like the Fuller's Vintage Ale if you got the. Yeah, I, I I have some. I just never open them. You know what I mean. I just have to give it a whirl. Yeah, but I know where to get them, so it should be something I just kind of pick I think up. You'll like it. Yeah, if you like this, I think you'll like that. I love this one. This is a big old ten for me. Yeah, this is a yeah. ten. And well, I rate on a scale from one to one hundred. I always give this a ninety-nine, only because I don't think I'll ever give a beer a ten. I give them all the time. They're very liberal. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it's yeah. like it's all. If it makes me go oop in the pants, it gets a ten. I'll give a 99.99999, never 10. Yeah. You gotta, you, if you find 10, then 
there's nowhere else to go. You, you, there's nowhere more to see. You well, have the best. If you're spinal tap, you just turn into a lever. That's true. There you go. This has been Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Matt from Massive Beer Reviews and PA Brew News with some Thomas Hardy. Cheers. Cheers.